Hey guys, King of Charmanders here. Today I'll be your judge, your jury, and your analyst. And this is my complete guide for Rathalos. All attacks, tips, and tricks. So when in the story do you face Rathalos? Well, you're going to face it in Chapter 13, Sunder of the Skies. On the urgent quest, King of the Skies, Rathalos. It is a 5-star encounter and is the literal final boss of the main story. It's really hard to beat if you don't have a grade 5 weapon or you aren't familiar with its attack pattern. Here's some old footage of me taking on Rathalos, and yeah, it was a total pain in the tush when I first fought it. Got used to it, now it's super easy for me. And here's Rathalos' monster guide entry. It's a wyvern species found in forest biomes, and its attack elements are fire and poison, with its elemental weaknesses being thunder and dragon. As far as its breakable parts go, it you can break its head, back, right wing, left wing, and its tail which you can sever. Here's some useful information. Rathalos can fly and use fire attacks. Breaking its wings or severing its tail will force it back on the ground. It's basically Rathion hard mode. But hey, when do monsters play fair, right? King Lizard was trying to kill me with its fire-breathing mouth! That is not a fair man's fight if you ask me! Ah, shut up! <laughs> that big dumb monster doesn't know what a fair man's fight is! Yeah, what's fighting fair, right? You're just a giant red dragon trying to kill us all, and all we want is your monster parts, so you kind of have a right to self-defense. Anyways, first attack of Rathalos is the bite attack. Rathalos will try to bite you. Signal Rathalos will open its mouth wide and move its head back. You can roll backwards, left or right to dodge this attack. And what's better than a bite attack? The number two, the Rathalos' running charge bite attack. Rathalos will run towards you and try to bite you. And as one signal, Rathalos will raise its head and look straight at you before it tries to charge towards you. Roll left or right to dodge. And now, to avoid getting a chunk of your soul taken out by Rathalos and getting you sent to the Shadow Realm, this attack is less obvious if you are targeting its head. Just dodge left or right if it glows red. Seriously, it's not, it's really unobvious, so just dodge left or right once you see it glow red. And at number three, we have the Stomp. Like, you know, Seth Rollins Stomp. If you know that reference, we could be friends. Rathalos will jump in the air and try to stomp on you as its number three attack. It's one signal, Rathalos will squat and flap its wings before it jumps. Roll backwards to dodge this, and the wing flap is its dead giveaway that's about to do the stomp attack. As soon as it flaps its wings, roll backwards. At number 4, we have the Wyvern species signature move, the Tail Swing. Rathalos will raise its tail and sweep the area in front of you at 180 degrees once. The reason I say once, because sometimes it happens twice, but for Rathalos, it's once. And number 1, Signal. Rathalos will look behind and raise its tail. You can dodge this by rolling left or right opposite of the tail swing, or the honestly the easiest way to do it, just roll backwards. Just do it, it's the easiest way to dodge it, just roll backwards. And this usually happens if you are behind Rathalos. For this example, I have the rare occasion where it does it in front of you, but yes, it will usually do this attack when you are behind Rathalos. It wouldn't be complete without the fireball attack. The fireball jutsu, Rathalos, and the rat species signature fire move. Rathalos will fire a fireball from its mouth, and it has one signal. Rathalos will swing its head up with a trail of smoke coming out of its mouth. As you see in the example, it is fairly obvious. You see trail of smoke coming out of its mouth, it's about to hit you with that Hadouken fireball, which is actually a dragon fireball, not an energy fireball, and probably hurts a lot more than the other one because, you know, Rathalos is large. You can dodge this by rolling left or right. At number 6, we have Rathalos' Jumping Fireball. What's better than a fireball attack? A jumping fireball attack, and this is a fire elemental attack. Rathalos will jump in the air and fire a fireball at the ground, and it has one signal. Rathalos will pull its head straight back, like you see here, straight back in the air with smoke coming out of its mouth. You can dodge this by rolling left, right, or backwards. His aim is pretty bad if you're far away, but if you're up close, this one's really obvious because its head's going up. Note. Rathalos will usually stay in the air and start flying after this attack. I have two examples, one where he literally flies straight down and lands, and then one where he stays in the air. And we have our favorite attack, I always call it my favorite just because it's super annoying, it's the roar. Rathalos will roar loudly, stunning you or knocking you back if you are using the sword and shield. Number one signal! Rathalos will raise his head and take a deep breath before shooting its head forward and letting out a roar. You can dodge the roar, but as you see in this example, you'll have to do it at the perfect timing right before it lets out the roar. And here's a note, I haven't confirmed if Rathalos can use this attack in the air like Rathian. Out of all my testing, I haven't seen it use the roar while it's flying, so if I'm wrong, please put in the comments if you've seen it roar while it's flying. And here's Rathalos' flight mode, yay! This thing can fly. So the big difference between Rathian and Rathalos is that unlike the Queen, the King can fly and it will attack you while it's in the air. 
And here's the thing, it has two signals. As you see for this first example, it will literally just start jumping, it'll just jump in the air and start flying. So a very basic one, you'll see it jump in the air, it'll start flying, it will attack you. So this is how you know it'll get into flight mode. And the second one, after its number six jumping fireball attack, Rathalos will stay in the air. If you were reading number six and paying attention, after it fires, as you see in slow-mo, bam! After it fires the fireball, it will stay in the air right after the attack. Sometimes it will go to the ground, but other times it will stay in the air and start attacking you. And this is Rathalos' flying attacks. The first is the flying bite. Rathalos will try to bite you while it's flying. And it has one signal. It will slightly fly up and open its mouth before it attacks. To dodge this, just roll left or right. Now, here's a note. This attack is actually pretty fast. So this, when Rathalos uses this attack, it's pretty dang fast in real time. So pay attention to its mouth. It's a pretty distinct attack versus the rest of its moveset. So as long as you're paying attention to Rathalos' mouth and its flight, it slightly goes up like you see here, you should be able to dodge its attack. Next we have Rathalos' charging flying scratches. I honestly didn't know what to call this, so here you go. But it gives the best description at number 2. Rathalos will charge towards you and try to scratch you multiple times. As you see here, it's kicking its legs and it's trying to scratch you. And it has one signal. Rathalos will spread its wings and kick its feet high up in the air. It's a really good signal. As you see, it will take a second when it goes up and kick it, kicks its legs up in the air. You dodge this by rolling left or right. And if you are super close like you saw in that first example, this attack can stun you if you are too close due to the wind from Rathalos' wings. At number 3, we have the Flying Tail Swing. The signature Flying Wyvern species move is now a flying ability thanks to the Rathalos. Rathalos will swing its tail at you. It's fairly simple. As you see, it's going to swing its tail at 180 degrees and pow. And it has one signal. Rathalos will swing its tail to the side for a long pause. As you see here, there's a long pause when it swings its tail to the side before it attacks you with its tail. And you can roll backwards to dodge. You can roll forwards as well. I have no idea why it's doing it at this range against me. This attack usually happens when you're behind Rathalos in the air and you're up close to it. And I'm not sure why he's doing it here, but you know what? Thank you for the content. This saves me some time trying to figure out when you're going to actually hit me with your tail. At number four, we have the Flying Fireball, which is a fire elemental attack if it hits you. And this is the third variation of Rathalos' fireballs. It really likes lighting you on fire and trying to make you the next thing on the menu for a barbecue. Rathalos fires a fireball at you while it's flying. Simple enough explanation, and it has one signal. Rathalos will raise its head and have a trail of smoke coming out of its mouth. As you see here, dead giveaway, trail of smoke. Roll in any direction to dodge this attack. And last but not least, the final attack of the Rathalos flying attack series is number 5, the sweeping fire breath attack, which is a fire elemental attack. Rathalos will cover the area in front of you in a blaze of fire. It has one signal. Rathalos will turn its head and body with a trail of smoke coming out of its mouth. As you see, turning head and body, and boom, fire. Roll backwards to dodge, and take a note, this is Rathalos' most powerful flight elemental attack, so dodge at all costs. Also, number two, just like you see in the example, if you touch the burning ground on the floor, you will take damage. This is why you don't roll forward. Every time you touch it, you take a little bit of damage, so beware of the fire. And here are my Rathalos tips and tricks. If you break one of its wings while it's in flight mode, it will crash on the ground and be stunned, just like the example I'm showing you right now. If you are using ranged weapons, bow, and the light bow gun, aim for the wings to set up the previous tip. Melee users, aim for its head, wings, or tails if you can reach it. And the best element to use against Rathalos is Thunder, which is the Toby Kodachi series, as there is no dragon element in the game yet. Divine Blessing, the chance to reduce monster damage by 50% if you have the equipment skill for it can be really useful. Lumu Coil, which is the waste armor from the Pal Lumu armor, can give you level 1 after making it. So it's really useful to have during this battle. You can defeat Rathalos with a poison or paralysis weapon if you are trying to take it out for the first time in the story and didn't grind enough for a thunder weapon. Try to have the highest upgrade you can at this point, whether you use the Thunder Weapon or the Poison Paralysis Weapon. The battle will be difficult, but it's definitely doable. I finished the story without ever making a Thunder Weapon, and I just used the Poison Weapon. I hope this video does help you guys out to complete and finish the story. This video took a while to make, so I would really appreciate it if y'all like, subscribe, and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Again, I really would appreciate it. I hope y'all are doing well. Good luck on your grinds, and I will see y'all on the next one.